Right, let's see what's going on over here with Gillen. After uh, we've had a downed, a couple of downed birch trees here, with the, um, as you can see here, they've come right down with the recent storms we've had. So we're just going to make our way through, get across all of this here. And Gillen's over here, and Gillen's actually just got himself an axe, new one of uh, a new toy. Uh, let's have a look here, Gillen. See what you've got. It's actually the same as what Steve's had for a while. It's a Halter Force Classic Hunter's axe. So. It's not very big. You can see the actual shape of the blade. Oh, you're right. Shape of the blade. It's beautiful. And I haven't done any stropping on this, and it's just razor sharp out of the box. How? First of all, how, how do you like it? I mean, I know how I like mine, but how do you like yours so far? Well, I, as you know, I had an older axe, a bigger Bushman axe, uh, more old school, and it was like two and a half pound head on it which was quite hefty, but it was almost too hefty just for carrying about the place. It's all right if it's one that's using in your house and around your back garden or your fire. But this thing almost weighs half the amount, and I've literally just 30 seconds just trying it out the first ever time cutting it and taking massive chunks out. <laughs> and that. It's just, if you Steve scans around, a good eight foot, almost like 10 foot away, there's chunks You can over. see chunks of... <laughs> Everything everywhere, it's just like so. I'm just having to play and just trying this new axe. Maybe yeah, we've got some shopping. got some nice wood here for some cooks as well. Yeah, anyway, back to Halter Force. Well. Back to Halter Force. So, a lot of people rave on about the Grand Force Brooks. Um, it's in all honesty, yes, it's a fantastic axe. It's very, very similar to this. Um, they're both Swedish, I think, aren't they? Yeah, 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 Grand Force, yeah, it's Swedish as well. But this one cost me £41. <laughs> uh, Gravers Brooks are what, about £70? 80, 90 or something 80, like that. 90. Crazy prices. Um, and in all honesty, I, I, I go for brands that have been tried and tested and they don't actually have like a brand on them um, as such, like being endorsed by someone. Um, if they are, I'll actually research it quite hard first. Um, the Granfors Brooks, the one that's very, very similar to this, almost exactly the same. It was designed by Ray Mears, I think. Mm. <laughs> and it's exactly the same head, but it just has more of a, I think it's more of a hook on the handle. It does, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. You know, so... I'm pretty, there's, there's even people who have said, I don't know if it's true or not, that the company's owned by the same people. I don't know if it's true or not. Well, Sweden's not a very big place, so it quite possibly could be. These guys have been around, I think it's 1697. They've been, something like that. Something like that, they've been professionally making axes. So apparently they're the, 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 the world's longest running and still running axe maker. Hmm. So there's Steve's, which is how old now? It's well, they're about they? two and a half year old, three year old maybe? Two and a half, three year old. Something like that. And here's mine that's brand new. I'll just put my sheath on as well, just to compare colours. So they're both exactly the same. I mean, Christ, I use mine every day, pretty much every other day at least, um, for doing work and everything with, and it's, it's fantastic. It. It's a fantastic. Covers off for of both of them. So Steve's will be... Mine's tightened. Tightened, but his is a lot softer because it's been used a lot more. Yeah, I actually just use um, goose fat um, or duck fat or even pig fat uh, to that actually keep on the leather. It? Yeah, to soften it. Yeah, nice. it's a nice one because it gives it a nice. It does give it a nice soft. Off nice. You can see, it's a lot more supple than mine. Mine's solid. But... There you go. There's a brand new one, and there's a well-used one. <laughs> I quite like the fact that it's not perfect and it's actually. Been... Oh yeah. Hammered and things, so you can see it. I love, I love. Look, I mean, look at the. I just love that the marks on it, the the makers' marks and everything like that. Um, each maker Sorry. has, I believe, has its own marks. Uh, Old code or whatever. I don't know. They seem like they're they look they're very similar, don't they? Both exactly the same. You can see them there. Obviously, you've got hickory handles uh, running through them, so it tells you on here. You can see they've got the hickory sign yeah. on there and everything like that. They've got um, the notches in the top and they've got a metal ring that goes through them instead of just a stud. Yeah. Which apparently grips a lot better. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, in comparison, you've oiled yours though before, haven't yes, you? Yes, I've oiled mine, yeah. I, well, I, I say I've oiled mine. I've, I've, had, um, I've had a linseed oil on it um, in the past. 
just on the handle um, and then but generally I'll use pig fat or goose fat duck fat whatever fat I've got available and that's all I rub into the handle itself okay. into the wood into the metal wear everything um, that's the only thing I need to do mine just to seal off the wood so I think if someone's wanting to spend a little bit of money on a good quality axe and they don't know what to go for uh, I'd say s spend a little bit extra 40 all in all, it cost um, from mytoolshed.co.uk, it cost £51, including VAT and delivery. Um, so, for an axe I'm going to be using on pretty much a weekly basis, it, a pound a week. Yeah. <laughs> put, it, put it that way, and it's paid for itself, mate. Exactly. But I think this is going to, if I look after this, it's going to last me almost a lifetime. So oh, you will do. I mean, the reason I bought mine is so I can hand it down to generations. This is it. All my bushcraft kit is designed to be able to hand it down to my son and stuff like that, and to his son, they, everything. They say, if worst case, you might break the handle, but that would be years and years of... And that would be more misuse than anything. That's yeah. people that doesn't know what to do. So the only thing I'm going to do different to it, I'm going to put maybe a leather or paracord wrap around this bit here. And it's mainly to distinguish Steve's bit. It's another thing if... It's just a safety thing as well. If I'm cutting down and I miss the bit here accidentally and I hit into the branch, it'll hit the wood. So yeah. a lot of people put a wrap about where yeah. the size of my hand just to help protect the wood. Yeah. So that's the only thing I think I might do. But I like the way it looks. Definitely. Definitely. All in all, I think it's a, a solid 10 out of 10 for a for the axe of its size and price and weight and its capabilities. Brilliant. So let's have a look at it and uh, see it in action. Right. I basically just thought I'd mention this. Um, here's me just splitting some wood up, making kindling for some fire. And I thought I'd have a go, quick go at feather sticking. Now I know that's not the best, but anyone says that your knife should only be sharp enough if it can do feather sticks. And you see how fine a curl this is taking off, it's falling off. But I'd say. <laughs> I'm going to get feather stick critics here now saying that's not the way I should do it. I'm not demonstrating actual feather stick, I'm demonstrating how sharp this axe actually is. Look at that. It's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Love my new toy. <laughs> right, I'm just going to do a quick demo this took me about 30 seconds to cut through maybe maybe about a minute um, I was having so much fun doing it <laughs> I don't know but I'm gonna do some a fresh bit but before I do that I would just think I thought I'd come in quickly and show how sharp it is now, this has not been stropped and it actually the other day I'm not taking hairs clean off uh. <laughs> Nice. Now shaving shop out the box. So that's 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 just out of the box. I haven't stropped. That's actually after doing a bit of cutting as well. I know that shouldn't affect it, but for something out of the box, an axe, a knife, yeah, maybe, but an axe for forty-one pounds. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Isn't it? Right. Let's have a look at this. Steve. Yeah. I'm not putting any weight into this, I'm just swinging it a little bit. Want to come over a quick, close look up at that, Steve? Yes, I was zoomed in there. Let me have a quick look. So, I was putting no effort into that. Though I was putting nothing in the back swing. I was just literally just taking it off. But see how deep it is. Look at the length of that cut in there, for example. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it's, Same uh, with these ones. That's no weight on the, the left side cut. That's a little bit of weight on the right. Fantastic bit of cutting. So after that, for we a, look at the whole of four sacks. For a half, three quarter sized axe, maybe? Yeah. No. 0.85 it says, so I'm guessing that's kilos, is it? Maybe 800 Something like that, grams yeah. the head. Well worth its buy. Hot the force. <laughs>